Hey guys, Thomas Tony here, bringing you more Tavern Brawl in Hearthstone. This time, the Great Summoner Competition. This week, the theme is spells. Every spell you cast summons a random minion of the same cost. Now, as you can see, I've put together a all spell deck with mage, mostly threes. So you get a lot of three, but then you get pyroblast, flame shrek, blizzard. Pyroblast, most notably can summon Deathwing or Sea Giant, so you got a 50-50 of a 12-12 or 8-8. Pulling that 12-12 is great. Flame Strike, hilarious in Seuss, because you can Flame Strike, summon, what is it, Prophet Velen, and it instantly deals 8 damage to all enemy minions. It's, it's great. Let's jump right in. Now in this game mode, it's heavily centered with RNG because each spell you play will summon a random minion of the same cost and there's tons of minions at that cost so you can get pretty much anything good bad. You can get a huge tempo Dang, swing by getting something extremely good that. such as playing 2 mana and getting a storm or play a 2 mana and get the 1-1. One, one. So it's it's heavily dependent on random, on random generation. Now I have a good curve here and it's a paladin so this should do just nicely. And the cool thing with Echo of Mediv is you can play it and it will copy whatever it summons. So you can play onto an empty board and pull a minion. Oh I almost forgot and the coin. The coin counts as a spell but it's a zero cost spell so it's only going to create infinite value with the wisp. Or the zero two mech target dummy. Let me think. Hmm, okay. Now then. Arcane missiles empty board. Why not? <laughs> And that's the absolute worst one drop I could have possibly gotten. What makes it absolutely bad is because it's a 1-1 one, one and it could buff his murlocs. That's why it's such a bad one one drop. But anything he plays is gonna get flame strike. I mean flame cannon. Reporting for duty. Go ahead. And that's the second one one. This is not going into my favor at all. Well, Patient Assassin, it's gonna destroy anything he plays, so that's pretty good. But we're coming out to turn 4, and if he Consecrates, it will kill anything. Well, wipe my board, really. Mm, okay, patient assassin can deal with that, but I'm not running any minions, so kind of redundant. That consecrate I was talking about. Now, Echo of Medivh into an empty board. It costs 4, so it's gonna pull a random 4 drop. Let's see. Will the day. And that was pretty bad. But I have one in hand now. I'm surprised he doesn't have secrets. A lot of paladins I've faced before just run a ton of secrets. I'm coming up the flame strike range, so that's pretty good. The problem here is I'm probably gonna die before that even happens.
going to be amazing! Is this lethal? Have I already lost? Let's see. 5, 10, 14, 17, 20. I am at. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. That's lethal. You might feel a little tingle. Extremely quick match. I did not expect to lose that fast, but this will make for two short videos, so I'm gonna go for one more. Now, as you saw in that last video, the random generation gives you a massive swing, just like he had since his early what's it called? The early the two eight with taunt. What is that? The early death lord just made me have to sack my creatures. He pulled such amazing quality cards since I didn't have anything to respond with. You asked for it. Let's see, Druid. I want to keep. Let's see, Druid has Moonfire. That's zero cost. They have three cost, heal eight. Two cost, deal three or deal one, draw a card. Two cost. Two cost give a minion plus. Is it plus two, plus two in taunt? Two? They have bite for one. Or is it seven three? I'm not sure. But they do have a lot of late heat. They do have very strong direct damage, but not direct removal. But I do know so a lot of them are running naturalized. Okay, now that's very good. 3 cost 4, 7, and it does not trigger the battle cry. Now he's testing it. Now he knows it is not an ice block, but now I'm going to drop a counter spell. So any spell he plays will just get countered. Spells he could play, Swipe, Wrath. Hmm. He's going for Wrath, that's why I counter spell. And second Wrath. Okay, now this match has been a lot slower. I've gotten more. We've gone to the mid game, really. And he hasn't. He's not playing any strong cards. Well, there's the star fall. That's, that's pretty bad. And Dust Devil for a second time. Blizzard the board. Yeah, Blizzard the board. Oh. That's that's pretty good, but like Okay. We'll grow the ogre pretty insane. All means have a fifty percent chance to attack the wrong enemy. Here's the thing about the six and seven drop area. A lot of those are legendaries. Because once you get past I six, dream. that's where a lot of legendaries show up. And Ysera. Good thing I'm your entity. And Polymorph. Yeah, this guy's having a bad day. Swing first 
like this. Emerald Drake. I was hoping for the spells. Let's see, what spells does Ysera give you? She gives you Dream, Nightmare. Is it only two? Because I know there's Emerald Drake, there's Laughing Sister, so there's only four. There's that healing touch. He's at one health. And Ysera awakens. Yeah, it looks like he's lost. I can see. Yeah, so as you can see there, R and Jesus was in my favor very heavily. I had pr I had basically the perfect answer to everything he played, and that's what makes the Great Summer Competition pretty fun because you don't know what to expect. Like you can play, like turn one he has like a Murloc. Turn two, I flame cannon summons Milhouse Mana Storm. Now he has to react to that. Turn three, I play Arcane Antitech summons King Mukla. It, it's pretty insane. I hope to see you here. <laughs>